So the first thing I've done is I've taken this piece of 2x4 and on the other side I've drawn out the handle. As you can see, these are where the limbs are going to go. And this is where you grip. So just I'm just going to cut it out. I've got it cut out. I've also cut a little notch for the arrow to rest in. And I've sanded it just a bit. So now I'm just going to sand it smooth and sort of shape the handle more so it's really comfortable to hold. Alright, now that I've got my handle the way I want it, it's time to work on a limb. For, we're going to have to make a limb that looks like this. To make our limbs, I've got this fiberglass rod. It's a driveway marker. And I've marked the two 15 inch pieces and I'm going to cut it out with my hacksaw. So I've cut out my two 15 inch fiberglass rods and then I also cut out this uh, piece of 3 quarter inch PVC. I got it down to about 18 inches and now what I'm going to do is heat this up and flatten it with the two fiberglass rods inside and then I'm going to try to flatten down each end. Now I'm outside and I've got my $20 heat gun, got some aluminum foil and some 2x4s and what I'm going to do is heat up the PVC on the aluminum foil, stick in my fiberglass rods in the center and then flatten it down by pushing this one over all of it and using my weight to sort of smush it down. Alright, so now that we've got our limb, we need to add a pulley. And so for our pulley, I got this little wheel that goes on something. But as you can see, it doesn't really have a groove for the paracord to go through, or, you know, whatever string to go through. So, how do we get from this to something more like this? With all right, so what I'm what I did with that one is I took my hacksaw and cut it straight through. The, uh, not straight. I cut a groove down the middle through the whole thing, not all the way deep, just enough so that it would be deep enough for the paracord to sit. And then since that groove isn't big enough. I have a triangle file like this and I would basically widen that groove and then once I got that, since it's not really circular shape and the string isn't going to stay in there that well, I have a round file, kind of like a rat tail file and that's why it's going to make it so the paracord just sits in there and it'll be really smooth. Now, in case you're wondering why I can't just uh, put a groove in it with this, it, and that's because with this, it's going to try to slide off, and then you're not going to have a nice, clean, center groove. Alright, now that we've got that done, we need to attach this to the limb. And all we're going to do is sort of place it on there, mark out where the holes are, and then just drill some 3 16 inch holes and then just attach it using some nuts and bolts. When you're done, it should look something like this. Alright, now to attach the limbs to the body or the handle, just use some of more nuts and bolts and just put at least two and that should work. And so now you should have something like this. Let's see if we can get in view. Alright. So now to string it. Just put it on that top part again. Where the thing is. And then what you're going to do when you get to this side. Is you're going to put it underneath the pulley. And then go around and 
put it on top of this pulley and then through. And then once you get here, you're just gonna reach it to the other side where that top part was. So this should be the bottom part now. All right. Once you've got it strung up, it should look oh geez, the things are bending. It should look like this. 